So this here is a Vector Graphic 3, 64 kilobytes of RAM with each and every card that was available at the time installed on the side here. So today we're going to be fixing this keyboard because each of the foam pads has gone bad on every single one of these. Ordered them from Texelec. I'll put a link on the bottom so you can order them yourself. So let's go ahead and get this apart. So these are the foam pads I'm talking about. I'm hoping that these will fit. I actually did not measure them. Uh, typical me, something that I do. So uh, plan is refurb all this, clean it up, and put it up for sale. And see how much we can make on it. Going to have to do all four screws on the sides here. There's only four, and then the top just lifts off. There it is, she's opened up. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the cable by a uh, keyboard by removing these four screws here. So here you can actually see how the board was hand drawn. So notice that none of these are really straight. They're just kind of drawn. I'll tell you what, they drew it quite well too. I've seen some that are so messy before. These are actually really well done traces here. You can see some <laughs> deadly stuff back there. And these are the cards I was talking about. So, uh, from what I understand, this, uh, which was the RAM card here, I would have to open it to see it. But you, you got a 64 kilobyte RAM card in there. One of them has the actual computer on there, so you're going to have two processors in here. It was a Z80 and then the Intel 8080, both of them 1 megahertz. Uh, this is a CPM machine, and the, and the ROM for CPM is on that same card as the processors. Um, but I believe, okay, so this is the RAM card right here. So this is the RAM, one of these is for controlling the floppy drives, I believe it's this one here or here, it's one of these two. Not too sure what that one is. So there's actually, there, there's two ROMs on here, I'm not sure what the other one is, it's some kind of an AMD chip, uh, one of them uh, flip chips, uh, not flip chips, excuse me, it's a, uh, uh, what do you call them, those kinds where you can flash a little UV light and it's a custom ROM. Yeah, someone just wrote a custom ROM for this. Haven't been able to open up yet because I haven't been able to type. Ooh, paper clip. Take that out. Haven't been able to type yet. So hopefully we'll get that fixed. Now that we got the board off, you can see that we can flip it over and then we're going to need to remove each of these tiny screws here in order to get the keypad off and reveal the uh, contacts for the old foam pads where I took those out almost a year ago and have just had this lying here since so I'm gonna go ahead and take each of these out there's quite a few of them so I'm just going to skip this over for you all right so now we got the keyboard off here this is where we're, our foam pads are going to need to go and this is what it's making contact with so I'm actually going to clean these before we put it on they do need to be clean now I was wondering what this is and I'm wondering if this is a character set ROM Either that or it's the thing that controls the matrix for the board. I have no idea. I could reference one of the uh, 20 books that came with this when I got it. And it, it's it's most definitely in there somewhere. Alrighty, so I confirmed that these are the right size. And so I just need to plop them in, then lock them down accordingly. This might take a little while. Okay, now I got each of the foam pads inside. So I'm going to wipe both of these with alcohol this. And they just want this to be clean because it's making contact with the board here. You can see how these two ends meet. Uh, <laughs> they got traces going through the middle. Um, but yeah, you, you get the idea. Uh, it needs to be clean, clean, clean. Okay, so <clears throat> put all the pads in. Took forever. Got this in there and also I was able to look at this. This is an I.O. card, controls the I.O. And if that one doesn't have the character set and this is just controlling the matrix, then this has a character set. RAM, this is going to have the process, the two processors, the Z80 and I, and this right here is the floppy controller. So both floppies, which are there, can I, oh my goodness. <laughs> so both floppies that are there connect to that. <laughs> so... Yeah, so last time I was getting random characters on the screen, which is like a RAM thing. I reseated the cards. You can't reseat this RAM because it's actually soldered in. So hopefully it's not bad RAM chips because uh, <coughs> I don't see myself replacing that ever. So I'm going to plug this in. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, working, albeit 
Whoa, yeah, interesting things happening here. Seems that the keyboard's working now because as soon as I clicked a key, that happened. Tell you what, still cool. Let's try the reset button. No, still not right. Try not to touch that huge capacitor back there. It kill me good. Ooh, okay, yay! Some of it's working. The D key works. Okay. Very interesting. Wow. I mean, it's a surprising outcome, but not the most ideal. Okay, so I understand what's going on right now. So I am currently, I believe this is the custom by the custom chip I was talking about. Either that, or I don't know what I'm talking about. And this is the OS, which it currently, I just remembered right now, actually, in order to get into its OS, which is a, a primitive version, primitive version of DOS, mostly used for desktop applications. I think it, I had, I had said it earlier, I forgot it. It's on a boot disk. I do not have the boot disk, um, and even if I did, not too sure if those are working. I think they need a head alignment. We'll try to do that soon. But um, like, see here, I got ASCII dump. You know, each of these corresponds to something. So the keyboard is working. I'm just not able to type. I can only do um, that, you know, and then other commands, like if I reset it, if I press this, I'll put, you know, so I realized all that jumble mumble earlier, it was actually, it was showing some different RAM addresses, like I could see them on the sides, or at least that's why I think they were, which spacebar do, mon, 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 okay, yeah, but yeah, the keyboard works, I'm genuinely surprised, I was worried it wouldn't, you know, getting, getting results, each time it does something, so that's good, it means it's making contact, and that's all I need it to do. Now, of course, a boot disk would be nice, you know, these, this artifacting, don't know what's causing that. That wasn't there before, and actually it looks like the colors are reversed, because before the text used to be green, and the background was black. Apparently it's not doing that anymore. But yeah, see, address flags, and then it's giving you addresses. So it wasn't mumbo jumbo, it was just uh, me thinking it was. Try compare, B, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, there you go. See, yeah, so this is, I'm pretty sure, oh look, it's doing it, it's working again. That's how it's supposed to look. Okay, um, <laughs> cool. Also, it looks like I need to mess with some of the switches here, like touch, no. Um, this is a little bit blurry, not too sure if you can see that on camera, it is blurry. I don't know if I can sharpen that, probably not. Uh, but I would think for a monochrome screen, it should be able to be a little bit sharper. It's not. Let's try the reset key again. Okay, so I'm back again. I figured out how to stop that command from running. So I figured out what all that mumbo jumbo was earlier. That was me. Oh, okay, that's the checksum. Um, that was me putting, uh, where is it? No, not that one. No, no. Okay, first it was me running the test by accident, which does that. So this is a graphics test, I'm assuming. Press control escape to make it stop. And then user area, so that's my current address, I believe. Let's see, input, 9F, don't know what that means. Output, nothing. Program. Oh, it's hoping to have something. Let's see, dirt. Oh, hex dump. Cool. But yeah, you get to pretty much see the hardware running. I said it's mem check. Okay. Um, better than error, I guess, so, I guess I'm doing okay. Uh, and this is what I ran that made it go all crazy, the ASCII dump earlier. Okay, anything like that, and then space is just gonna run those. There you go, that's a lot more normal looking. I'm happy, I am a happy man. Okay. So I guess that's going to be it for today. Um, I'm happy. Yay! <laughs>